Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Once a project becomes popular, we see a lot of other innovative tools happening around it. Graphrag from Microsoft is one such project. I already have covered Graphrag in way more detail on the channel in the last few days. So if you are interested in learning more about this Graphrag, please search my channel and you will find heaps of information around it. Graphrag in simple word is a project which enables you to build a data pipeline and transformation suite that is designed to extract meaningful structured data from unstructured text using the power of LLMs. And it, and it is based on graph theory. Now, I have already done a video where I have shown you how to install Microsoft Graphrag with the help of Olama. Olama is one of the best and easiest and quickest tool to run large language models lightly and locally for free. Again, I have done heaps of videos around Olama. Please search the channel if you want to learn more. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to a free open source tool called as Olama or Graphlag Local with Olama and Interactive UI. What this project has basically done is that it has built a user interface on top of Graphrag with Olama. Also, this project is very, very new and evolving quite rapidly. It has already got a lot of features. For example, it has lo local model support with the help of Olama and Olama handles both LLM and embeddings. And by the way, we already have covered how that happens in great architect architectural detail in our this video, which you can see on the screen. Other than that feature, it is quite cost effective because you totally eliminate dependency on API calls. It has got an interactive UI. It even gives you a graph visualization option. We will also check it out shortly when we install it locally. You can do file management. You can do settings management. You can explore your output and you can even do real time logging for better debugging and monitoring. So that is what this new tool offers. Before I show you the installation and how it works, let me give a huge thanks to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable price, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPUs. So do check them out. So let's go to our terminal on the same screen. And then you see that I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have this NVIDIA card of 48 GB of VRAM, which is NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. And first up, I'm going to create a Conda environment, which will keep everything simple and separate. I'm calling it Graph UI. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long. And then that is done. I'm going to git clone the repo of this graph Olama UI tool. Let's wait for it to get cloned. And not only it has been cloned, but also we are in that directory. Next up, let's install all the requirements. Let's do that. That is almost done. Let's wait for it to finish. And everything is now installed and running. Let me clear the screen. Okay, so let me show you my Olama models. So just do Olama list. And there I have Mistral already, Llama 3. Let's also grab an embedding model. So for embedding model, you can either go with this MX Pi embed large or you could even go with Nomic embed text. Let's go with this one, doesn't matter really. Both are really good. And you see that how quickly and easily Olama is downloading the model, verifying the checksum, and then it's all done and dusted. Let's do Olama list and you will see that now we have our embedding model. Let me clear the screen. Everything is installed now and I'm in that root directory. Let me show you a quick thing. So if you do ls-ltr a here, you will see that not only we have this graph rag directory where everything related to graph rag is but also it has some gradio application it has some rag test uh, directory and few other stuff which is very very usual for our graph rag which we already have seen in our other videos 
Now, in order to run it, all you need to do is to just do gradio app.py and then it is going to start it at your local host at port 7860. There you go. So let's go to our browser and run it in uh, port 7860. Let me go here and then when I refresh it, there you go. So this is a UI of our graph rag. In the data management, you can simply either click here on um, this option or you could just click on file operations upload your text file for example if you want to go with your own file i'm just going to pick my own file from here maybe i will uh, just give it this file or uh, any other file but should be text file so you can see that i have just just selected this file.txt which has just my personal information and then you can refresh the file list here if you like or you could simply save the changes from here and then you can just simply select your file in the select file option let me make it slightly bigger so that you will see what is happening now in the bottom section it is also showing you all about the content of your file so it just has some text about my personal information as what i do where i live and all that stuff and then you can simply save the changes here by clicking on it the interface is a bit rudimentary it's a new project so that is fine and you see it is still in our rack test input folder where we normally put our stuff there now if you go to the settings here you can see that you can select your rlm if you click here by default there is a mistral 7 billion which we already have in the olama as i showed you but if you have any other model sim simply replace it here for example llama 3 7 billion and update similarly you can change the chunking values you can go with the embedding um, so at, at the moment it is using nomic embed text so i will also do download this one instead of the by one and then if you want to change the port and stuff we can also change it if you like and then there are various other information as you can see here input output so if i click on input this is the input file and folder you can give more file patterns if you like so instead of doing it manually as we used to do in our previous videos you can do it all from this ui which makes it easier and once your file is done uploaded then you can simply run the indexing here by clicking on run indexing let me do that so it has run the indexing and the indexing is complete and these are all the steps which we used to do manually okay so this is done so if you go here you can just refresh the folder list from here and you just have to refresh it once and you will see that the folder will be populated here which is the output folder and then you can initialize a selected folder or you can just simply go go with the output folder it's up to you and then or you can simply ignore it and then it is also going to show you the initialization status okay so now let's query in on the right hand side so let me type a query here on the right hand side i'm just going to ask it who is Fahad Mirza sorry my fingers are dead at the moment okay so who is Fahad Mirza and you see the query is running and the query type the first one is global we will also try it out with local shortly after this one let's see what it ha what happens here interface is slightly i guess a bit white and dull otherwise it is good there you, there you go so who is Fahad Mirza it has returned as a global research at who is Fahad Mirza and then it is just telling me from global search where it has found there let's see if the local search works or not I'm again using the same query with this and then send the query let's wait for it I think interface could be improved okay so you see it is not working here with local search it seems so this is what I have seen in some other nomic embed model too that local search it doesn't work global works but not the local search okay so but all in all a good attempt at the user interface on top of Olama. very new project just had started 
um but i think interface can be improved and this local search can be improved but other than that looks good so that's it guys i just wanted to show you this new tool um i will drop the link to it in video description and i will also be posting some of the improvements in, in the github repo so let's see how it goes but play around with it let me know what do you think about it if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching